So let's talk about fast. And when I mean fast, not fast as in a car, I mean fast as in F-A-A-S, or function as a service. Function as a service is very interesting because there are certain types of problems that lend themselves very well to not having to run a full host in the cloud. Where if you look at, um, I want to expose an API, or I want to expose um, a website or web application, Normally what you would do is get a cloud hosted instance. Uh, I work very closely with Amazon, so that would be an EC2 instance. So EC2 is Elastic uh, Container. Um, uh, so uh, when you look at uh, certain types of problems, you really don't need that. Where let's say you're, you want to trigger a job or in a classic uh, cron job where at some point in time you want to run some report or you want to send a or you want to send a message to someone or you want to check something uh, normally a lot of times people would create these containers just to do this where you would have one box sitting there pretty much idle for the whole day and then when it's ready it would you know watch uh, basically the, the uh, host would just sit there and watch the clock until it was its time and then you uh, will do whatever action, let's say two o'clock in the morning. So that's extremely wasteful in the cloud. And the reason why this is important is because now you get charged per your hour of usage. So you may have a host that's sitting around for 24 hours on uh, and you're getting charged for 23 hours because you're really not using it for those 23 hours. Uh, or I should say, you're getting charged for 24, but 23 of those hours, you really weren't uh, using it. Uh, so, uh, one idea is to uh, really, uh, you can scale that down, scale up or down that, that host where you can say, well, hey, you know, I'm not using this host for 24 hours. Um, I'm just, I'm not using it for uh, 24 hours. I'm only using it for one. What if I just start this host for an hour and then shut it down when it's complete? Yes, that is going to work, but that is actually adding a lot more complexity into your architecture. And the question is, why should you do that? Or you should always look to say, hey, are there, you know, different options available? And uh, yes, there are options. Um, Amazon actually has a great uh, service that they offer called Lambda. It's pretty much function as a service. Uh, basically, what you do is you uh, add in a very small amount of code, and then Amazon is responsible for scaling up that resource for you and down when you're not using it. And uh, the great thing about uh, EC2 is that it's a, a per use model where you're not just paying for the fact that you have something on you're paying for the fact that you used it which is actually a lot more efficient especially when you have something that's being called a handful of times a day it's worth being able to comply with their interface and being able to run it whenever you need and not really have to dedicate like hardware or, or dedicate a host to that so uh, that's been the whole function as a service um, movement but the problem is that Amazon has Lambda uh, Google Cloud has its thing uh, Azure has its thing I don't really work that closely with Azure or cloud or Google Cloud uh, but they they all have these services this is just you know table stakes when it comes to containers or, or table stakes I'm sorry when it comes to uh, uh, cloud services so when you look at the fact that uh, it's great if you're in the cloud, but what if you're not at the not in the cloud? How can you get these types of uh, services? Uh, normally, you would have to use other types of uh, traditional uh, schedulers, or, or it's other use cases that fit very well for function as a service. I think another use case is really uh, currency rates or currency conversion rates. Uh, that's something that probably gets updated once a day, but it would be great if you just have an endpoint that you can hit to say like, hey, I want to know what the difference between um, pounds and euros uh, that would actually be very useful to have a service to do that you don't need a full host for that so um, the problem is that if you're not on the cloud you really don't have those capabilities uh, offered to you and you don't really have the portability if I write a solution in lambda that may not work in uh, in cloud and like Google Cloud that's a core problem I don't want to have to continue to rewrite solutions over and over and over again so 
wouldn't it be great if somebody actually created something that would allow you to run in any cloud uh, platform or on your own bare metal devices? They did. So a uh, gentleman by the name of uh, Alex Ellis released uh, this function as a service, um, open source package. It's on GitHub. I'll add the link. Uh, he actually uh, introduced it at the end of um, DockerCon. But I've been taking a look at it, and it makes a lot of sense. Where if you want to run lambdas, uh, you may want to do it on a platform uh, independent, uh, I would say, package. So that you can just kind of take whatever you wrote, your jobs, and port them anywhere. And so uh, that was actually very interesting. And I think that actually makes sense and it'll get a lot of traction. But that's one thing that I kind of learned at DockerCon that I really didn't know about. And I don't know if I would have learned about it uh, as soon as I did if I didn't go to DockerCon. So... If you have more questions about function as a service or uh, just Docker in general, or I did a talk about uh, Moby, the difference between Moby and Docker, ask. I'm here to answer questions. So thank you.